5 seconds to go start ladies and gentlemen i am happy to be here with you today i am glad to see young scientists especially women among you you have gathered here to participate in the second indian rice congress which will over these four days discuss a variety of topics related to this important grain it is heartening to see a gathering of talented scientists who invest their time and energy for rice research and also for india's food security and livelihood there is no need to underline the importance of rice before this audience you know very well how rice is the cornerstone of food security in india and also a key factor for our economy rice also figures very prominently in our heritage and culture right from the vedas our ancient literature in sanskrit and other languages have rich references to this grain and many varieties of rice many rituals and ceremonies of various religious traditions are considered incomplete without akshat the unbroken rice which is a symbol of prosperity and even the wholeness of life in many parts of india the first solid food given to a child is usually something made of rice it also features in famous legends and myths i am sure you remember many tales such as the one about sudama's rice which underlines the bonds of love between old friends rice is rightly called the grain of life it arguably feeds more people than any other comparable food grain especially in asia india of course has been the biggest exporter of the grain helping people in other parts of the world ensure basic food security and also letting them savor different rice varieties ladies and gentlemen though india is the leading consumer and exporter of rice today the situation was different when the nation became free the national rice research institute was established in 1946 soon after the great bengal famine and just before we won independence in those days we were dependent on imports to meet our food requirements and often the nation lived what was called a ship to mouth existence if the nation could overcome that dependency and has become the largest exporter a lot of credit goes to the nrri the institute has contributed immensely to india's food security and also to enhancing farmers lives for more than 75 years now the 
एन आर आर आई हैज बीन वर्किंग इन दीज एरियाज इंडिया इज प्राउड ऑफ इट्स रिच बायोडाइवर्सिटी एंड दैट इनक्लूड्स वेराइटीज ऑफ राइस टू एवरी रीजन ऑफ दिस कंट्री बोस ऑफ ए यूनिक राइस ग्रेन ऑफ इट्स ओन विद अ डिस्टिंक्ट टेस्ट इन द लास्ट सेंचुरी एज इरीगेशन फैसिलिटीज एक्सपेंडिड राइस came to be grown in new places and found new consumers such a shift is not always good for the water usage in some regions the paddy crop requires high amounts of water but many parts of the world are facing severe water shortages due to climate change droughts floods and cyclones are now more frequent making rice cultivation more vulnerable even as rice has broken new ground there are places where traditional varieties are facing challenges i am glad to know that traditional rice growers from the tribal communities of odisha have helped conserve the unique genetic resources of rice for ages i must mention here the exemplary work of shrimati kamala pujari from koraput who has been collecting and preserving hundreds of rare and endangered crop varieties including rice she was honored with the padma shri award for her inspiring initiative thus the task before us today is to find the middle path preserving and conserving traditional varieties on one hand and maintaining ecological balance on the other i am therefore happy to learn that n r r i scientists are actively seeking solutions by collecting identifying and characterizing unique rice seed that can survive these cultivation challenges i am told that this rice congress has dedicated sessions to discuss those issues another challenge is to save the soil from excessive use of chemical fertilizers which are considered necessary for modern rice cultivation we need to reduce our dependence on such fertilizers in order to keep our soil healthy i am confident our scientists are at work to devise eco friendly rice production systems ladies and gentlemen as rice forms the bed rock of our food security we must consider its nutritional aspects too large sections of low income groups depend on rice which is often the only source of daily nutrition for them therefore delivering protein vitamins and essential micronutrients through rice can help combat malnutrition i am told it has developed india's first high protein rice called cr dhan t310 which will help us in improving the country's 
overall nutrition profile i am glad to learn that nrri has also released a high zinc rice variety the development of such bio fortified varieties is an ideal example of science in the service of society more and more of such efforts will be needed to support the increasing population amid a changing climate in the country stop